Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rocky Mounts Guide Rail 3 bike rack and seeing how it fits on the back of our 2022 Ford Maverick. So this is going to be a platform style bike rack, great for carrying a wide variety of bikes. And you can see with the one we have loaded up here, it's going to hold them in these trays and by the wheels. This is a dual wheel mount design, which means we've got a wheel hoop on either side, holding this in place with the ratcheting arms, making for zero frame contact. It's going to be great for carbon frame bikes and alternative frame bikes. And with a 60 pound weight capacity per bike, you can handle some e-bikes too. Now that does come with a small caveat because these first two cradles are the ones that can support e-bikes. This outer cradle does have a limited weight capacity of 45 pounds. So whenever you're adding this on, just be mindful of that, that you're not overloading the whole bike rack. If you don't need a three bike capacity, just go with the two bike version of the guide rail and it's a lot easier and just simpler to keep that weight capacity in mind. Like the regular guide rail though, this has all the same functions, including the tilting feature. The handle is pretty far recessed underneath there though. So you just pull that and lower the whole rack down. It does have a very aggressive tilt and you can see here, if I had it fully loaded, I'd have a bunch of bikes in my face. So you might have an extra set of hands to help you out with that. And what that's really going to do here is just give us some extra room to get to our bed. We don't have enough room to fully lower the tailgate without hitting the bike rack. We could, in theory, if we wanted to, actually bring this support up a little bit and only partially open it. But at the very least, it's going to give us more room to step in here, get to stuff in our bed if we need it. Then we can just lift it up back into place and it'll lock in. It's a pretty soft click, but once it's locked in, you're ready to go. Now with this, we can get the bike unloaded. Moving to the lever arms, we've got these blue levers at the bottom. Push that in to release the tension and then flip it up to fully release the ratcheting mechanism on both sides. These arms can open up as wide as we want them to, and then we can just lift the bike up and away. Now, even with the three bike capacity here, it's fairly easy to get to that inner cradle, but you do have a good amount of room between your Maverick and the inner cradle if we needed to step between the vehicle and the bike. And then we can get these folded down, making sure to flip those levers to re-engage the ratcheting mechanism and keeping them secured. And at this point, it's a good opportunity to get some measurements. The first one I get is ground clearance. You can see here, there's a pretty aggressive rise in the shank and each tray is staggered, making for better bike to bike clearance, making sure they don't come in contact with each other, but also giving us a lot of ground clearance. At the back end, we're gonna be working with an impressive 31 inches. So that's not gonna be a point of concern, I think for really any situation. The distance added to the back is going to be pretty considerable, coming in right at 40 inches. So it does add a lot of length to your Maverick. You can fold it up though when it's not in use, coming to that same handle we did before, giving it a pull and folding the whole rack upright. It's surprisingly lightweight when you fold it though, so you don't have to worry about it being too heavy. And at this point, it's only sticking out 13 inches from the bumper, so way easier to pull into a parking spot if we wanna leave it in the hitch between rides. The closest point here is only gonna be about three and a quarter inches between the bumper and with very little movement at that pivot point, if any at all, I'm not worried about vehicle contact. If you're leaving it on like this though, keep in mind that it's not gonna block your license plate when it's folded up like this, but it will block your backup camera pretty much completely. It doesn't stick up too far above the bed rails though, so at your back window, you should have perfectly fine visibility, whereas with a four bike rack, you would probably have some clearance issues there and it would block your vision but overall it's going to be pretty nice on the Maverick. On the sides, we do get a little bit of blockage for our taillights, but it's pretty minor. And keep in mind with bikes loaded up, that's probably going to block them a bit more. Down at the bottom, it's working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube and comes the locking anti-rattle bolt that keeps it nice and solid in the hitch. Overall, it's gonna work really well. And that lock is actually key to like to a lock up top. The bike rack comes with a pretty heavy duty chain that'll lock up into the top right here and can be secured at the very end, again, with that same key to like system, so we don't have to worry about multiple locks. 
And overall, the guide rail is a personal favorite of mine. It works with a wide variety of bikes, it's very rugged, and it looks good. If you're looking for a bike rack that can hold three bikes and handle a wide variety of them, I think this is a really fine fit for the Ford Maverick. Thanks for watching.